thought we just overdid it. It was just really immature, really immature all the way through our game. I thought it was immature from our most experienced players and our leaders. And then our players who are immature, our inexperienced guys. I mean, we made lots of mistakes here today. First period, Bobby McMahon gives up a two-on-one, on, doesn't do his job there. And um, Homer Ignizi get caught on one goal. Our fourth line camp for out there, like our third and fourth line give up goals in the second period. But I just thought we got incredibly sloppy, and careless, and that's that's uh, disappointing. We can't let in the first shot of the game, but you know that's two in a row now. But um, uh, the chances we gave up tonight are egregious. There's lots of issues in front of them. John Tavares has been the example for us. He's been outstanding for us for a long period of time. He himself got carried away tonight. That's our captain. So if that's going to happen, well, like then I. The rest of our benches now, we're just making it up as we go. Wow. Sheldon Keefe did not hold back in what I thought was a pretty fair and accurate assessment of a disappointing night for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I don't think he's showboating. At this point, Sheldon Keefe has seen enough all year long to realize when the Toronto Maple Leafs are not dialed in and focused defensively, they get themselves in trouble, no matter how talented they might be. And so he was accurate in his assessment he talked about just about everyone so he didn't just single out one guy he went to the captain which he rarely does acknowledged that he played well which is nice but acknowledged he didn't play well last night seems appropriate he talked about the third and fourth lines being on for goals against part of the responsibility of those players is to not be on for bad goals against missed assignment kind of goals against and they were nothing unfair about that highlighted bobby mcmahon he did make a bad play at a pivotal time in the game nothing unfair about that it's okay to be public in your criticism when it's fair, when it's accurate, if you don't do it all the time. And Sheldon Keefe doesn't call out his players publicly that often, even when there are breakdowns for him to go to. Joseph Wall didn't have a great night. He sort of alluded to it, but also softened it by saying there's lots of problems in front of him. I think what Sheldon Keefe's issue is this. There is a standard of defensive play that is required to be successful in the playoffs. And that doesn't mean the Toronto Maple Leafs have to become the Winnipeg Jets. They're not going to be. They don't have the personnel or the personality. But they are more than talented enough. And the expectations absolutely should be that they play well enough defensively, make the right decisions, make good reads, give themselves a chance that their offense can win games in the playoffs by being the minimum standard you have to be to be successful. They've shown they can do it. They just don't show that they can do it all the time. And that's what Sheldon Keefe is trying to poke and prod out of them. So all these guys that were just called out fairly will have the attention and the spotlight drawn to them, as will the rest of the team, in a focused attempt to draw more attention to their defensive game. I think it's totally appropriate, not showboating, accurate, frustrating, and necessary if this Leaf team needs to dial it up and get it together before they get to the playoffs.